Skova, Czech Republic, Winter, Denmark, Millwood, Great Britain, Long, USA, Patterson, Australia, Elliott, Australia, Bro, USA, and Trip, Canada. That is the Canadian, Abby Tripp, just 15 years old, first out. She will go in lane eight. The youngest in this field. Representing Czech Republic. Vendula Diskova took five seconds off her qualification time in the heat. Can she go faster again? Representing United States of America. Bro Brickell in lane seven. Denmark's Amelie Winter. She's got a lot of support in this crowd. We've seen the orange shirts. The red shirts of Denmark there cheering on. Winter goes in lane two. Australia out in force. Here to support Madison Elliott. Bronze. In 2012, along with gold and silver medals from the relays. Great Britain. We've got Stephanie Millwood going in lane three. Five Paralympic medals from the London Games. How can she start off her campaign here in Rio? Australia's Acacia Patterson won her heat earlier on today. Puts herself in a great position in lane five. But the favourite has to be United States of America, Jessica Long, already has 12 Paralympic titles, 23 World Championship titles. She is going to be the one to beat in this women's 400 freestyle S8. She first won the Paralympic gold medal back in 2004. Has the world record from last year. And still has the Paralympic record from four years ago. Jessica Long. Five seconds quicker than her nearest rival from the qualifiers. She'll be the one to beat. It's just shaking out, getting in the mindset ahead of this 400 freestyle. And we're underway now on the women's 400 freestyle S8. The current world record holder, Paralympic record holder, goes in lane four. Not off to a particularly fast start. It's Patterson of Australia who leads at the first 25, but this is a 400 meter freestyle race, eight lengths of this Olympic sized swimming pool. And it's about pacing for these athletes swimming their own race. We've got a, a new leader now after just the second 25 meters. Didn't take her long. Jessica Long, USA, takes the lead ahead of Lakeisha Patterson. Stephanie Millwood of Great Britain in third. These three athletes swimming almost stroke for stroke across the pool as they come down towards the end of the first 100 metres. Jessica Long, such an experienced athlete. She will know how to pace this race to perfection. She's just starting to edge ahead of Patterson and Millwood on either side of her now as they come up to that 100 metres. Well, Jessica Long is the star performer, certainly, in the pool. She is the most decorated active US para-athletes 
17 Paralympic Games medals in the Jubilee for Jessica Long and she's incredibly only 24 but she's aiming for her fourth consecutive gold in this race and indeed in the 100 meter in the S8 category plus a third consecutive in the 100 fly amongst the events that she'll be swimming and what's remarkable as well it's, she's won world titles in this event in every edition since 2006 she is not only the dominant performer in this classification but she has continued to back up every single race with incredible performances she imposes herself so well on those around her the women's 400 meter freestyle sh she is uh, not leading at the 150 meter mark it is lakeisha patterson not allowing jessica long to break but it's about swimming your own race as you've said and already we are starting to see just tailing off ever so slightly is steph mulwood of uh, Great Britain going in lane three. So Lakeisha Patterson is taking the race to Jessica Long, trying to apply a little pressure and impose her own strategy, perhaps outside of uh, Jessica Long, who finds her stroke a little better in the pool, but doesn't use her underwater quite as well as some of the other swimmers in the classification. That said, generally doesn't need to. Well, Lakeisha Patterson now really looking strong. I mean, we're past the halfway point and she's just starting to edge a little bit ahead of Jessica Long. It'll be interesting to see if the USA athlete feels this pressure or if she really knows her own race and is just going to stick to her race plan because Patterson is actually maintaining that lead throughout that whole 50 meters and we know that she gains a little bit on every turn. She comes into the 250 marker and the 253.86. She's over two seconds ahead now of Jessica Long and there's Stephanie Millwood coming back onto the shoulder of long so this race is looking a little bit exciting here we've got this the favorite going in lane four the fastest team the world record holder but at the moment she is starting to lose touch from Lakeisha Patterson of Australia who's swimming a very very strong race as we come towards the last hundred meters the Australian is looking to dominate well I think this is brilliant originally from Wodonga in Victoria Lakeisha now based in Queensland but training at the Lawns and Performance Centre is uh, putting on a remarkable show here. Uh, she's not only taken this race to Jessica Long, but with 100 metres to go, she is well in front. She's leading by over four seconds at the moment, and she is not about to be caught. This is a remarkable story. Lakeisha Patterson, she's known as Lucky back in Australia. She has cerebral palsy, early onset Parkinson's disease, epilepsy, micrographia, but she's overcome several challenges already in her short life and she's looking to overcome the greatest opponent she's likely to meet in the pool with 50 meters to go we're on for a real battle here she looks to have given herself enough of a lead to take gold away from long well, i think that's pretty much wrapped up now as she comes past that 25 meter mark lakeisha patterson will just have her head down she won a bronze at the world championships last year and she's come in here against the favorite and she has just left her in her wake on on course here for the world record it looks as though jessica long not having a strong swim here today because that's the world record is it going to be broken it is lakeisha patterson of australia the new paralympic champion breaks the world record jessica long the previous world record holder for the usa has to settle with that silver medal and a strong finish there for stephanie millwood of great britain to take the bronze Well, that was a very bold race, a bold swim indeed for Patterson. She was leading at the 200 meter mark and she just continued to extend that lead. Hugs now her compatriot, Madison Elliott. What a delight in the pool for Australia. The young Lakeisha Patterson, just 17 years of age knew she had her work cut out that world record she has taken away from Jessica Long as well as the Paralympic title just having a hug from Long there well, that was a very strong performance indeed but a little under par for Long Stephanie Millwood of Great Britain putting pressure onto Long as well but finishing with a bronze medal to add to her collection well, that was just a thoroughly impressive display. It's not only how she did it, it's who she beat. 
Lakeisha Patterson, a 4.40.33 world record in the women's 400 meter freestyle SA, beating one of the most, not only the most decorated US para athlete actively, Jessica Long, but indeed somebody who's dominated in this event since 2004 and won every world championship since. But you heard the first words from Elliot afterwards, I'm so proud of you, and an enormous embrace from her compatriot. It's going to be an emotional moment, but what an achievement for the Australian teenager. Well, there, the results confirmed.